Hi guys, remember a while back I was reviewing this shitty power supply? Well, not exactly shitty, it's actually outputting the required voltage, amperage, but it's also causing such interference that the touch functionality on my iPhone stopped working. I don't know about the other phones, but it basically renders the iPhone useless when recharging it. So I decided it would be good to check what's actually coming out of this power supply. And for that purpose, got an oscilloscope. Packaged really well, although, as you can see, they place something heavy on top of the package. Hopefully, the inside is not damaged. The oscilloscope is available in several versions, the cheapest being totally do it yourself. But this one was pretty much assembled. As you can see, you just need to screw together the enclosure, adding these panels, also the adjustment knob for a potentiometer, and of course, all necessary screws are included. In general, a five minute job. Although I don't know if we'll be able to test it because it doesn't have any batteries. It's just a 9 volt input here and I don't know if I have a 9 volt power supply handy at the moment. Apparently there's also an additional input for a power supply, although it's not available when you place this cover. So maybe you can add some internal battery pack and hook it up to this connector. Well, first things first, I guess I need to grab a screwdriver because you know this board here inside should be screwed to the other one. Okay, I got the screwdrivers, although unfortunately, even though this was supposedly assembled, it still requires some pain in the ass assembly. I need to screw this in first, then attach this board. But placing this here first is a bit difficult because you need to feed through the BNC connector and then the grounding lug. So it's gonna take a couple minutes and we'll get back after I'm done. Okay, I'm back. Although the assembly took more like half an hour than five minutes I thought it's gonna take. One of the things I had a problem with was putting the case together. I didn't want to fit, it was really opening up here because there's this frame around here and it turns out it's asymmetric. It's a bit thicker on one end and it was being turned around but now it's all nice, even this adjustment knob is just sticking out a bit too much but I guess the hole is not deep enough but that doesn't cause any problems so let's just see this, this thing will start up success it's booting up okay let's hook up the leads and then we've got the one kilohertz reference output here so let's see. And it actually does work. You can adjust the scale. Really cool and it was really cheap. Of course, you'll find the link below if you'd like one like this. Uh, maybe I won't be checking the power supply today because I've got some other errands at home. Really, really cool.
So that's it for today. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and see you again soon.